So how long have you guys actually been in the industry now? Not specifically in sales though, just like in the industry. Ooh. Oh, forever. We were both raised into it. It's a lot of gray area there. <laughs> <laughs> actually, all three of us come from real estate families. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, for me, I've been actually actively selling full time for 36 years. A lifetime for some of us. Yeah. <laughs> and more. Yeah, a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and, and my mom was in real estate before me for about seven years. My two brothers got into the business after that. Um, one brother, Doug, is still involved in real estate but not actively selling. He's coaching with the Tom Ferry Group and has been for many, many years. Some of you out there may actually be his coaching students or students, probably the wrong word, but uh, coaching clients. But yeah, so I've been actually selling full time 36 years. You know what? I've, re I've reinvented myself a few times over the years, and that's how I've managed to do it because otherwise, there's no way you could do 36 years of selling real estate and still be standing. So were you always the referral guy or did you like cold call or anything like that? Yeah, point? no, well, I did everything, of course. Yeah. But yeah, the referral thing's a big part of it. Yeah. And you? Well, my whole life I've been in it. Um, 2005, my father bought a brokerage, so I started kind of you know, answering phones, booking appointments, that whole thing. Um, but then sales full time, probably eight, maybe nine years. I lost count, but somewhere around there. So he can remember at 36. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's all the tequila, man. Yeah. Just <laughs> really fuzzy nights. Networking. You're networking. <laughs> yeah. Tea? Oh, my turn. Okay, so I would say officially licensed for seven years, but. We can go back to the days of being in the back of my mom's Park Avenue, and I was five years old when she got her license. So, yeah, yeah it's been about 30, um, 31 years, 30 years. Exciting. Yeah. yeah. Unlicensed. So, you're one of the few people when you say you've been in it like 30 years that you can be like, yeah, I started when I was like four. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> totally. Because yeah. I make that joke with others, and they were, they're just super old. Yeah. <laughs> it was always, always a real yeah. easy way to What are you trying to say about what I just <laughs> <laughs> Like normal, I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> Awkward. It always made me look a lot more credible when I'm like in the industry for X amount of years. Yeah. You know, just yeah. I, I, when I first started, because I because I honestly sold before. I was in construction before that, which is part of the real estate industry. So I kind of tacked on. Oh, I've been in the industry yeah. for five and like my whole life. When really it was I was in car before. Me. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to fudge it a little bit there. That's okay. I wasn't sure. lying. I was just creatively <laughs> bending the truth. Yeah. Well, I wasn't long out of high school before I got into real estate, and at that point in time, people were looking at me. Just, I couldn't even grow a mustache at that yeah. time. I mean, that's how young I was, and and so people would say to me, "Well, how long have you been selling real estate?" And be like, "Oh, feels like forever." And that was my answer. I wouldn't let it go any further yeah. than that, so they wouldn't hear it was one year or two yeah. years or whatever the case may be. Yeah, I got a few of the like, is this your first deal? I was like, no, no, no I've done tons. And that was always because I did like 10 leases in the first like yeah. three yeah. months. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I've done a lot of them. I can't even keep track. And I was like, literally just leases. It took me six months to get my first sale. Yeah. And even that guy's like, so is this like your first deal? And I was like, no, 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 I've done, I've done a bunch. Yeah. <laughs> that was my first deal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I remember being really smug when I got into business and telling my mom that I wasn't going to sell condos or townhouses. I was only going to sell detached houses. Yeah. And she's like, oh, yeah. yeah. Getting into luxury. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I went out and I started door knocking and I, and I, I door knocked Homelands Drive in Mississauga. Yeah. And I got four listing appointments out of that trip up the road and did all four appointments and got none of the listings and realized at that point, Maybe I should consider yeah. you know, stretching a little bit different yeah. because this isn't working. They're not being impressed with me. So I yeah. did. And then my first deal was actually a, a condo apartment. <laughs> <laughs> and went on from there. Yeah. 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 yeah that's what I was like. I'm not going to do leases. I'm just, I'm going to do sales. Yeah. yeah no, it was like 10 straight. <laughs> and then took a minimum wage job at the toy store for Christmas to pay the bills. <laughs> As and then ran time. into a potential client while wearing like the apron. Oh, bad. Not bad. Yeah. Bad, Today's bad, bad, bad. version of that is to pull up out front with the red light in your front window. You're yeah. driving the Uber and yeah. your client gets into the back. <laughs> oh, we are going to the same place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way. Yeah. Never too busy. For never your too business. busy for your <laughs> How early into your career did you focus on that being your main source of business? For me? Mm -hmm. um, actually, very early in my career. When I, when I started selling real estate, 
um, the whole referral thing was just sort of burgeoning. You know, there was there were only a few agents that were actually doing it. Ernie Ward being one. Ernie's still in the business today. Paula Gardner is another one. She's no longer in the business. And there were maybe one or two others in Mississauga that were doing it. And I saw that they were having success from it. So I decided I was going to attack that business too. And I did. And back in those days, you know, everything was a, was at six percent commissions. You know, so before there was a lot of pressure on commissions to be flexible and all that sort yeah. of stuff. And and when uh, when when commissions started coming down, I thought to myself, uh, I really should be concentrating somewhere else yeah. because I felt like I could gain a 25% increase in pay by doing that. And, uh, and so I let it go and let it go for about uh, 10 or 15 years and came back into it about, I guess about 11 years ago now and haven't looked back. Love yeah, it. It seems to have worked out. Yeah, it's worked out really well. <laughs> <laughs> really, really well. Before you guys team up, how did you guys grow your businesses? I've always been repeat referral based. I taught the Buffini 100 Days to Greatness back in the day. So when I got into it, it was kind of the only way I knew how to like start running, right? So I kind of took that approach and it's been my approach. I don't spend a whole lot on advertising, never have. I'd rather treat my people well and they That's pay smart. it back. They pay it back. Very yeah, smart. yeah. Likewise, similar to Jess, it was just kind of shadowing my mom and then working my own sphere of influence my friends people from university people from high school um and then it all kind of has materialized so yeah. the next question is from chuck charlton which is more for paul okay so we'd like to know paul's succession plan and if eventual <coughs> retirement is the goal how he plans the transition from like percent per deal length of time and client communication that's a great question. <clears throat> well, of course, the goal always has to be where am, you know how am I going to work my way out of this business? Yeah. But <clears throat> I'm not that old. I mean, I've been in the business a long time. I've got a lot of time ahead of me. My mom gave up her real estate license at 81, so I have lots of time to go if I want to get to 81 <laughs> and be licensed in real estate. But I, you know, my goal, I guess, at this point in time, was to try and align myself with people who could keep my energy up. Yeah. Because every I've pretty much reinvented myself every ten years in this business, and uh, and you know, granted we're at thirty five, not thirty, but at, after five it was sort of at fifteen and at twenty five, and now at thirty five, where I've changed my business model and done something a little bit different that has brought new juice, got the juices flowing again, got me excited again, made it fun again. Because the act of selling real estate is is a relatively similar process yeah. on every deal. You know, 35 years ago, the paperwork was different. That's the only difference. The interaction with the client is still the same. Um, but how you do it, how you generate the business, um, how you deal with your your peers, that's where that's where the energy is in this business. And and so yeah, so that's what I've changed around. So sorry, getting back to the question from Chuck. Yeah, my goal is to taper myself back a bit, but I won't be gone. I mean, there's no need to retire. It's not a business that is physically taxing. It's not truly intelligent like <laughs> intelligence taxing right you know i, I can i can do this burn, burn. Burn. <laughs> i might need a liver transplant in the first three years it's, it's um, you know i'm it's not that you can do it with your eyes closed but the reality is yeah. that yeah. that it's it's not something that's that's uh that's it's not really to tough do. to do it's all about relationships and, and doing yeah. business that way so yes my goal is to sort of taper things back so with these two we've been sharing a lot of my business over the last uh, few months and it's all starting to trickle in now and deals are starting to happen and two of the deals over the all three of the deals over the weekend were referrals that came in that we were able to work together on and they and were it's, and it's not, i didn't realize that yeah and they're not and it's that. not that they're that just like okay here you take this one to leave here you take that one jessica we're working together on these things i mean yeah he's very involved very yeah, very well involved. I, I have to be because I, I i'm not ready to relinquish control right you know i i'm still so totally active in this business but having Having the extra help has really made a world of difference. Yeah. Of you know, we've tripled our our, uh, our activity and tripled the income because of that. So, 